Next, we're gonna throw in this carp. What's up guys? Mark here. Regardless of the time y'all are watching this, today it's March 29th. It's a beautiful day out here in Nagano, Japan. It was a long cold winter, but it's starting to feel more like spring now. Flowers are starting to bloom, and yeah, the weather's getting warmer, and it's a great time of year, but I'm feeling pretty hungry. So I'm gonna head to the local supermarket and see if I can find a fresh fish to chef up for y'all today. All right, let's go. あ、そうそう、あ、うん、売ってる売ってる。だけどね、基本的にね、美味しくない。小さい魚は。うちは濃いはね、あの、確実にいるから、全然ないってこと、ほとんどないから。じゃあ、来れば、あの、ここ、
Got this from the local carp restaurant they have here in Nagano Prefecture. It was 2,350 yen, which is about $19. And it's about 1.7 kilograms. And I say it's about a foot and a half length. Carp were eaten traditionally in places like Nagano Prefecture, basically places in inland Japan that didn't have any ocean, just rivers. And yeah, in Nagano, Japan, they have many carp restaurants. There's a carp restaurant in Saku City. There's carp restaurants in Ueda City, carp restaurants in Nagano City. But yeah, it's a very traditional old food. In Japanese, carp is called koi. It's the same fish as the colorful koi fish they have that you'll sometimes see in ponds and in like fancy restaurants. Those are called nishiki goi. But basically, essentially they're the same fish, a carp, just like this one. They're a very bony fish, so many Americans don't like to eat them. They're also good at surviving in polluted and dirty water. So a lot of carp, you can find them in very dirty, dirty water. They have these Y bones that are very easy to choke on if you're not careful. I've done some carp videos in the past. I did the Asian carp and I did a regular carp. Honestly, this type of carp is one of my favorite fish to fillet and eat. And I think it's such a dope fish. At that restaurant, they actually have carp sashimi. It's called koi arai. And basically, they cut it thin and they eat it raw. That's not what I'll be making today. Today, I'll be making koi koku, which is carp miso soup. And then we're going to grill a little bit of it too. But yeah, first, let's take off the scales. Carp got some pretty big scales. They're real tough fish. As you can see, some pretty... Humongous scales. One of the fun things about filleting fish whole is scaling the fish. This is actually pretty fun. Right, we got all the scales off. Next, we're gonna get this slime off the fish. When fish swim in the water, they have a layer of slime that coats them that helps them cruise through the water pretty fast. This slime is pretty fishy, so we're gonna use some vinegar to get the slime off. As you see, the color's gonna change. There's all the slime there. Okay, got a lot of the slime off. Uh, next, we're gonna take out the head. Carp got some really strong bones, but we're just gonna come behind it right here. Time to make a cut up the collar. Same on this side. All right, we're gonna go through the bone. Got this trusty old rusty Deba knife. We're gonna use this to go through the bone. All right, we got the head off. We'll save this for later. Next, we're gonna come up from this hole and go up the belly. Got the guts here. Looks like there's some eggs here. Must have been a female. But all these guts are edible. So we're gonna save these for later as well. These are actually really good. I'm gonna soak them in a little bit of sake and salt. All right, let's fillet. Come down the back, make a little shallow cut. And let's flip, come down the belly. Come up the spine, and go through the ribs. Carp got some strong rib bones. Got one fillet of carp. We're gonna trim off the ribs. Just come behind them. It's my favorite part. Carp got some big ribs. They're real easy to take off. All right, got the rib bones off. So carp have bones going down here and down here. All up the fillet, these weird bones. But they don't have any bones on this belly part. So we're gonna trim this off. Got some belly meat here. This will be really good. Let's fillet this other piece. Come down the back. Come on. All right, fillet number two. Next, let's take off the ribs. All right, got the rib bones off. And next. We're gonna take off the belly meat. All right, nice chunk of belly meat. This will be real good on the grill. Basically the bacon of the carp. 
draw a few fillies. Put the belly. Alright, we're gonna cut this into some steaks. Alright, this is all the carp right here. Oh, Mikan Zanino. Mikan Zan, Hora, 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 Mikan, 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 Mikan. Niki Tabitin, no man. Hora, Hora, Tabitin, no man. Hora, Tabitin, no man. Hora, Tabitin, no man. Hora, Tabitin, no man.魚魚だよ。マジで草食べてる場合じゃない。恋だよ、恋。恋なのよ。みかん、おいで。行っちゃう。美味しいよ。いい匂いするでしょ。おいでおいで。おいで。みかん。魚だよ、魚。ほら。
stop here. Mix some water. Some soy sauce. Alright, last but not least, we're gonna put a little bit of vinegar and the koi koku. Here's the nitsuke. This is looking pretty good. Fire! Let's salt up these bad boys. Do your flip. Okay, let's eat. Itadakimasu. First, let's try this koi koku. Get some of this belly meat. Some tofu. Here we go. Mmm! <clears throat> Damn. The carp isn't stinky at all. So juicy and fatty, especially this belly piece right here. Take off this fin. Mmm, so tender, so soft. It's got this carp flavor. I mean, it is carp and it tastes so good. Here are the bones it has in it, these little Y bones. Gotta be careful when you're eating it. The meat's so tender, so the bones just come right out. And the carp flavor is mixed in with the broth as well. And that little bit of vinegar adds a great touch. The skin turns pretty much into like gelatin because of the collagen in it, which is really good for your skin. And it also tastes really good. I don't know why carp are so underrated. All right, now next, let's try this carp guts nitsuke. Get a little piece right here. Yeah, definitely has a guts type of flavor to it, but really good. All right, now for the eggs. Mm. Wow, these are so good. So juicy, not dry at all. Mm. And right, now for the swim bladder. Chewy, but good. All right, last but not least. I don't know if this is the heart or the liver or what. Whatever it is, it turned dark black. It doesn't look that appetizing, but we'll give it a try. Oh, it's the liver. Good though. It turned dark black, so it looks not appetizing, but not bad. All right, last but not least, we got this grilled carp. This is the belly right here, the bacon. Mmm. Well, the texture is similar to chicken. I think by grilling it, it makes it a little bit harder. But yeah, it's like carp chicken, carp bacon. All right, after finishing the meal, damn, put this out on the ads. We got the chef and up cup my dad brought all the way from America. Shout out my dad. That was good. The koi koku was probably my favorite. I definitely recommend trying to chef one up if you can get your hands on some carp. I think the key is cooking it for a long time and then removing the scum that builds up on top. And then yeah, it'll be super good. If you come to Nagano, Japan, check out Koi Nishi. 
They have that supermarket section, but they also have a restaurant there with a whole bunch of stuff you can try. Carb, river fish, ramen, things like that. I think for one of my shorts videos, I'm gonna go to their restaurant, try something they got there. Sorry for the lack of videos, just been busy with school and work. But if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on there. I post a lot of shorts and stuff. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my Patreon, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!